Now don't go running off and just filling all your bottles and jugs of water. Wait for the disclaimers at the end of this video, all right? I don't want to be in trouble because of this. This is just my information. It may not necessarily apply to you. So wait for the disclaimers at the end of the video, please. Thank you. A question I got recently on one of my videos was, is a stream I was camped next to is good enough to use with a filter for water? And let me tell you my belief on mountain water. And this is from me, this is internet information. Take it with a grain of salt and use your own information. Research what you need to. But we just got done hiking up to the falls. It's two miles. The entire way up this, this waterway is burbling, gurgling, running over rocks, churning and, and falling. It is aerated, it is, it is filtered and cleaned through the stones and through everything that's out there. There is nothing that's going to pollute that water. Um, at over two miles, over two miles, that water is pretty much clarified and pure. This stream is doing everything naturally that they do with sewage to sterilize it to make it able to put back into a, a river or a water source that's going to be used by somebody downstream for drinking water. All this tumbling and turbulence and running over the rocks and through the mosses and gravel, it just cleans the water really well. And I've been hiking and guiding for a lot of years. <laughs> um, and we've always just drank out of streams. Now, I will admit that I do carry uh, flagell to, to kill Giardia. If I get sick, I have never gotten sick. I usually give it to the dog because it's good for the dog to get sick because he drinks out of places I wouldn't. But This is just good, clean water. Absolutely pure and just as cold as you can drink it. And it tastes delicious. Now, a couple of caveats. I now know this stream. I've walked the whole length of it. Two miles. It's all the same. If there was a campground or a farm or something next to it I might be hesitant to do it I wouldn't if there was a like the Appalachian Trail or something next to it I'd be a little suspicious then too but just another thought is that if you use a water filtration system to purify the water from a stream you suck water up through that filter into a bottle or a jug and the filter catches any bacteria, anything that's bad for you. But guess what those bacteria do inside that filter? They're going to breed, they're going to multiply, they're going to become, they're going to turn that filter into a petri dish. So you can use a filter once, twice, three, four times in a week, but don't expect to use it one season and then the next. You better get a new filter. But this is, this is the best water in the world. So, again, you don't need to take my word for it. But take some of the water and get it tested if you'd like. It, it'd be interesting. You'd leave me a comment. But um, there's a lot of things that can pollute water. But up in these mountains, this water comes from the top of a mountain in a wilderness area. There's no agriculture and anything like that no farming now if you know if you haven't looked at your map you don't know what it is yeah 
take the uh, precautions, add a halogen tablet, add, uh, use a filter, uh, put four drops of chlorine uh, bleach from, for every uh, gallon of water. Um, that'll kill anything that's in there. Ooh, there's bugs up here. But um, I would say that, you know, any water source, and again, like the Appalachian Trail has water sources along the trail, but people wash their hands in them. People go to the bathroom within feet of them. Don't, I wouldn't trust those sources as much as I trust a lot of other things. But, all right folks, that's a two minute, is this water safe to drink lesson. Use your brain, figure out why it wouldn't be safe, what's around the water, and uh, use it. It's not because, it's not unsafe because of animals. If, if there's a pond, yes. A pond can, can breed a lot of uh, bacteria and things. Um, ponds aren't clean water like running water. Running water is usually purified through its, its oxygenation and its turning and it's, and it's getting filtered as it goes over cliffs and rocks and through sand. So a pond water, maybe there's beavers and muskrats and all sorts of things living in there. Maybe ducks swimming in there, pooping in it but rarely do you find ducks or anything in water. And on something like this, on a stream like this, if I was to even use it as a bathroom and, and leave a pile of poop in there, how long would that stay as a hazard to the water source? Probably 10 or 15 minutes, and it'd be washed away downstream. So. You know, if you're that unlucky that, you know, somebody at the same time as you're getting water down here does that up there. Sometimes you got to have faith. In running water, animals don't pee or poop in running water. Um, deer, bear, they don't run into a stream so they can pee and poop. They just go in the woods. The bears poop in the woods. The pope doesn't, okay? So... Remember those sayings. Yes, there may be fish, and you might catch fish or insects. But the truth is that, um, you know, if the water is clear and cold and there's insects in it, it's probably pretty pure water, pretty clear, pure water. Because if it's sustaining all that life, um, it's doing good. Now, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to get sediment and stuff. You don't want to get water while people are walking in the stream ahead of you. You want to be upstream of all that, but um, you can get pretty good water out of these mountain streams. As long as they're coming from wild lands that aren't, don't have any human influence.